And new at 10, Arkansas law enforcement is reacting to the governor's prison sentencing reform plan. Now, it's aimed at keeping violent offenders behind bars longer and expanding prison space. Five News reporter Michael Wilson spoke with several sheriffs to see if they believe it will help reduce crime in the natural state. Joe, I first want to say that I did reach out to the Arkansas Justice Reform Coalition and sheriffs from Benton, Washington, Crawford and Sebastian counties. Now, two of them, they did get back with me and they say that this is a long term plan that needs to happen in order to ease overcrowding in county jails. The parole system is uh, broken. Hoping to fix it is Arkansas Governor Sarah Sanders Signature Protect Arkansas Act, though not everyone is behind it. I voted against this bill. We know that longer sentences, higher rates of incarceration, um, these are not the things that actually prevent crime. Despite voting against it, Fayetteville State Rep Nicole Clowney says the bill has some positives, like specialty courts to address drug use and mental health issues. The act states that people found guilty of some of the most violent crimes would no longer have the option for parole. So we can teach them some job skills while they're in prison. Washington County Sheriff Jay Kentrell believes it should cut down on repeat offenders, but another issue is overcrowding. Their design and their, their function is to hold people until they go to court. With state prisons full, county jails are picking up the slack. And we're holding people that have been convicted. Currently, Washington County is housing 160 inmates waiting to go to prison. On any given day, we'll have 150 or 60 sleeping on the floor. In a statement sent to 5 News, Sebastian County Sheriff Hobie Runyon wrote, Our population has grown, but we haven't added prisons for years. In addition, our violent crime rate rose dramatically. This is a big issue. The governor's plan would add 3,000 more prison beds at a $470 million cost. So to those who say there's other alternatives besides expanding jails and prison. Until we find alternative uh, to the alternatives to the laws, I think we have to go with what we have. And Governor Sanders also shared that the act will offer millions of dollars in incentives to bring more correctional staff to Arkansas, although it's not clear exactly when the new prison construction will start. The state secretary of correction says he hopes to open 500 new beds at the current facility soon. Michael Wilson, 5 News.